uh, two committees for convening this hearing, and I want to commend the co-chairs, Representative Smith and Rohrbacher, for their, your leadership in this issue. Uh, David Kilgore, who's behind me, and, and I have been researching, writing, and speaking on the killing of Falun Gong for their organs now for over 10 years. Uh, Ethan Gutman uh, is a journalist who interviewed us on our work and then did his own. Since David Kilgore and I published Bloody Harvest, the third version of our report and book form, and Ethan Gutman published his book, The Slaughter, we three have remained active in writing, researching, investigating, and speaking on organ transplant abuse in China. Yesterday at the National Press Club, uh, we released a 600-page update with over 2,300 footnotes uh, to update this work, and it's now available online at endorganpillaging.org. The, uh, with the update, we make our own assessment of transplant abuses uh, and our own assessment of transplant volumes. Uh, in looking at the sources uh, for organ transplants in China in the past, we have taken Chinese government official statements of overall transplant volumes of 10,000 a year at face value and focused on attempting to identify the sources for these asserted volumes. However, the Chinese government statistics for transplant volumes are not necessarily reliable. One effort which needed to be made and which we finally have made is to determine on our own what Chinese transplant volumes are. We did that by looking at and accumulating the data from individual hospitals where transplants uh, occur, uh, almost 900 in all. Some hospitals state their transplant volumes. For those who do not, we, it, it, we can from their bed counts, personnel strength, uh, rate of growth, technological development, academic publications, newsletters, and media reports, and so on, come to a conclusion on their transplant volumes.